Hello and I welcome you for this AWS restart. In this uh, session, I would be discussing about this uh, 192 JAWS, that is challenge on uh, cloud formation. Uh, yeah, I can see this, uh, this is the exercise which we are going to do in this particular session. I just add the lab and what is needed, this is a challenge lab, please remember. So uh, the challenge is basically, uh, we need to set up, uh, I mean you can see here, the challenge is, yeah, the lab is getting started, we need to uh, do this in the following, the goal is to create a cloud formation template, so then the goal is to create a cloud formation template, uh, which has the following components like Amazon virtual private cloud. Yeah, we need to create a template which con contains a VPC, any VPC, an internet gateway uh, which is attached to the VPC and security groups, of course, which is configured from and SSH needs to be. Also a private subnet within the VPC. Uh, finally, we need to launch an EC2, EC2, T3 micro or anything which is there. And not necessary that because we are using a private subnet, no need to connect EC2. Uh, from our desktop from our desktop this is the thing so my lab is ready now I just open my console yeah if you get such a type of message just click here log out completely and then once again click this AWS you should be able to go to the console let us go through the infrastructure first let us go through the infrastructure see I will just duplicate my session also one for VPC and one for EC2 uh, maybe one for cloud formation. So I'll first first show you the VPC infrastructure as of now. Uh, I go to VPC. This is one, and also here I can go with uh, the cloud formation. The cloud formation. So you can see cloud formation. I click this particular one and here in this VPC console yeah. in this VPC console you see there is uh, let us examine the infrastructure this is only a default VPC which you have a subnet only the default subnets which you have in this Oregon a route table the default route tables and anyway we are not required to create any route table internet gateway we need to create and attach so you see here there is one uh, internet gateway that is the default one this is the default one which you have and another one is detached anyway and also uh, let us examine the security groups also you see here this is the security group we have only one default security group uh, nothing else nothing else okay so this is the infrastructure which is given now let us examine a template I have already created a template in YAML which basically uh, does all these following things. I will explain that. You see this is the YAML template which I have created to give the solution I will also attach this particular one uh, to this video so my preliminary thing is that I am declaring the parameters one is my lab VPC this is the name of the VPC which I want and this is the CADR uh, 10 000 slash 20 which I am taking the default and I am also uh, defining the parameter as a private subnet the CADR which I am declaring as 10 000 slash 24 which will be a part of your lab VPC and also my Amazon Linux AMI, I am selecting this particular AMI which is the path and this is my AMI. The resources, I am declaring the resources for the instance I am declaring this as T3 micro image ID which I have defined at the top. Yeah, subnet will be the private subnet. The security group will be app security group which I am defining. Tags is the app server which once the EC2 is created. Let us examine the VPC. 
So here this is the lab VPC. The parameters which I declare here is uh, uh, the properties is uh, already I defined this 10.0.0.0 slash 20 the CADR and you can see enable the DNS is true. Uh, this is the name lab VPC is the name which I am tagging it to that VPC. Yeah, this is the internet gateway. I am defining the internet gateway. Okay, and then uh, yeah, you can also this is for you see this is a lab IGW and this internet gateway needs to be connected to your VPC, VPC gateway attachment. Yeah, I define this to this lab VPC. This is the one and now I create a private route table also private route table uh, which is this particular one and which connects to your lab VPC and it, which also connects to your private uh, subnet also. This is private subnet declaration. Uh, you have a private subnet <coughs> which depends on your lab VPC. This is your CADR block. Yeah. And then finally, when you associate this private route, yeah, you get this particular one private route table uh, to private subnet. And finally, you also create a app security group, app security group. So this will be useful for your VP, I mean for your EC2 also. So this security group will be part of your private subnet, okay, uh, app security group. And you see this uh, which comes under lab VPC, we will check that whether it is connected to lab VPC and port number 22 and port number that is uh, uh, TCP port SSH which is uh, default enabled for all CADR IP range and the name is uh, app. You see these outputs, the final outputs should be shown as the security group whether it has been successfully done or not. So this is my overall what we call as uh, uh, the script which I am using for creating this uh, lab VPC. So what I do here as I mentioned as of now nothing is there, nothing is there. Uh, you can see I will create a stack, I will use, I will create a stack with new uh, resources. Okay. I'll create a new resources. A uh, template is ready. Upload a sample template. Yeah. Uh, choose file, which already I have in my downloads folder. That is my lab 192 YAML file. So yeah, it's uploading. It's about KB or 2 KB. So yeah, next. Uh, yeah, you can provide a stack name. Maybe I'll provide name as maybe my own name uh, Anand and you can see the default values has come up already Amazon Linux MID and your lab VPC CADR you have already declared the private subnet CADR all the three which you have defined in the first part in the first part you can see that and say next and say next so this is the second one specify the stack yeah you can leave all these things default all these things you can leave it default and in the third base yeah you can close this uh, you can go review Anand yes this is okay and once you say submit this is the last base yeah you can see that the stack creation started try to refresh the lab VPC the first part is getting created lab VPC let us see this should not yeah uh, the lab VPC VPC has been created still it will take couple of minutes to complete execution of the complete template so the instance also is getting created but before that we need other things also your route table internet gateway and all these things also needs to be created try to refresh in between you will understand what exact is being yeah you can see the events you can see the events I think more or less the stack is completed you see all 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 the things are done all the things are done your private subnet is created and your application security group is created your instance also is created route table also is created and of course let us verify so this is my requirement so the first one is that uh, VPC let us check the first part very important verification try to refresh yeah the lab VPC is created with 10.0020 the first one is done 
an internet gateway attached to this VPC. The VPC is you can see this 7C05. Okay, let me check whether internet gateway has been created. Yes, the lab IGW has been created and it is attached to 7C05 lab VPC. Second one is also proper, this one. Security groups. I'll show the third part. Security group, please take a little bit later. Yeah, please take scroll down the security group try to refresh yeah you have this app security group created app security group and you can also see 7c05 this is your uh, vpc this is your your vpc i mean to say uh, your lab vpc you can see the details also this is your lab vpc yeah and uh, you also need to verify whether your port number 22 is open or not yes it is open yes it is open if you want to check whether this vpc is lab vpc click here it is lab vpc it is lab vpc hence this app security group is also proper a private subnet let us check that a private subnet so the subnets let us check there should be one subnet which has already been created private subnet yes and remember this is also attached to lab vpc you can check here and uh, please check this route table also or subnet associations uh, yeah you can see here a route table this is default left yeah, and uh, this is how your private subnet is there private subnets are you can just see this uh, route tables also there is a private route table also got created and you can see the subnet associations which is associated to private subnet 10 0 0 slash 24 this also has been created fantastic now the last part is that whether amazon ec2 instance has been created or not so for this so now all my vpc infrastructure is proper so what i do i go to ec2 i go to ec2 and verify whether ec2 is running or not <coughs> this is the last one yeah you can click instances from the cloud formation template yes you can see this app server is ready and it is running it is running yeah you can also verify uh, some of the things you don't have a public IP because there is no public subnet only private subnet. Yes, it is Okay, and you can also see the networking part which is connected to lab VPC and a private subnet Okay, let us check the security The security is port number 22 opened. I Think we have done almost all almost all so build and test the lab the solution until components are built let the instructor know yes it has been this is the complete solution i hope you all understood about this particular one and do this program and do this lab thank you everyone and bye from me